Kelly Leia Pepe, four years as a Lion. When you hear that, what does it make you think initially? Uh, it makes me think of a, a lot of experiences, memories, and just how time's uh, flown by. Like, I still remember coming in as a freshman and now a senior. It's, it's crazy. And there's been so many memorable games over the course of your career. Are there a couple that just stand out whenever you think about that was a great LMU moment for me? Uh, well, definitely recently, um, you know, beating Gonzaga at theirs and definitely uh, beating St. Mary's here, um, storming the court. I've never been a part of something like that, and it's also uh, nice to beat uh, some fellow Aussies, some guys that I used to play with, so to, to beat them and storm the court, it, it felt great. And these last couple of weeks, speaking of storming the court, how has the energy of the students and the ticket holders in Gerson Pavilion helped you as a player and, and the team in full? Oh, it, it's helped a lot, you know, like personally, like I feed off the energy like that. And um, it, it's crazy to see how it's grown. Like I, I was thinking I've been, I've been at LMU when you could hear a pin drop and now like I can't even hear like someone right next to me screaming at me. So, so yeah, it's, it's great. And obviously you didn't grow up in the States, you grew up in Australia. How did LMU first come into your life and, and be part of your, uh, your college plans? Um, well, growing up, I, I didn't really know much about college basketball, but uh, I knew I loved basketball. And in high school, I moved to a sport high school, and my head coach there, Kevin Gorgian, he had uh, connections with Mike Dunlap. So um, when I was a senior in high school, I was doing well. I, I represented Australia and my state in, uh, in like national events and stuff. And LMU was interested, and I really got along with Dunlap. And yeah, that's how I ended up here. And the first time you came to campus, what were your thoughts? Well, um, I initially signed without even going on a visit. So I, I didn't um, like I didn't really know everything about the campus and stuff. And when I got on campus, I mean, it's beautiful, like LA, the weather, the bluff. Yeah, I was over the moon. And when you first got here, how was it meeting new teammates and, and new classmates and just being part of the LMU family? Uh, it was exciting. Um, I loved meeting new people, and like I, I'm, I can say that I've met like people, like players and students who I'm gonna know for the rest of my life, and yeah, made some great connections. And obviously, for you to be a college basketball player, it, it took a lot of people to get you to this point. Is there uh, a certain number of people or group that you want to thank for getting you not only to college but through your four years here? Um, definitely my mum, you know, driving me as a kid to all the, the games and practices I had and helping me with all the paperwork and stuff to get here. Um, I mean, the coaches, Mike Dunlap, Stan Johnson, um, my high school coach, Kevin Gorgian, you know, and, and all my, my other coaches growing up who have helped me become the player I am today and person I am today. Definitely want to thank them. And as we go into Saturday, it might be your last home game on the schedule, but there's still season ahead. Can you talk about how this year has been a little bit different with what you've been able to do as a team and what you're working towards? Uh, well, yeah, well, like just starting off with like in Jamaica, we, we, we had a good start to the year. We've had some big wins and uh, the crowd's grown and just like, like the culture has been great and everyone's like getting to see it. So it's definitely the program. I feel like since I've been a freshman, it feels like it's, it's building up to be a lot stronger now. And you'll have your degree at the end of this, uh, sociology. Mm -hmm. what, what does that mean to be able to, to leave here with that, uh, with that accomplishment? Yeah, so I'm majoring in sociology and minoring in studio arts. So to leave with a, a degree and playing basketball or for on a scholarship, it's like amazing. Like growing up, I never thought I'd have a chance to do something like this. And lastly for me, when you leave LMU, what do you want your legacy? How do you want people to remember the way Kelly played and the way Kelly lived as part of being part of LMU? Um, I'm going to be remembered uh, as a, a fun guy, a nice guy. Um, someone just went hard every time on the court. And, and yeah. Great. Thanks so much, Kelly. Thank you.